Morning, even afternoon. We got a bagger for y'all today, baby. Got a reaction video to Weston here. As always, his YouTube's in the description. Go subscribe, watch all their videos, man. What we got for you here is a 1969 Dodge Charger, an old one and arguably one of the cooler Dodge Chargers, in my opinion, that they bring back to life. This was extremely impressive. And when you enjoy this, hit the like button and the sub button. Most importantly, be sure to tell us about you love. Right, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, gosh. All right, Weston, let me see. Been sitting there? Over 20 years now. <laughs> 1969 Charger, bro. All right, guys. As you might notice, we're scrambling a little bit, and there's a really, really good reason for it. I love 69 and 68 Chargers more than anything, right? Mm -hmm. And right here is a 1969 Dodge Charger I found on the internet. Look at this. Look at thing. It looks so good. It sank halfway into the dirt. It's trying to return to nature is what it's doing, but we're not going to let it. And the thing is, it's been posted for less than a day. It's really cheap, and this thing is original ran when parked it still has the factory air cleaner on it oh my god it's two hours away so our plan is we're gonna drive up there we're gonna buy it we're gonna try to get it started we're gonna drive it now the problem is right is there's three other people on the way to buy it because this thing's like fifteen thousand dollars too cheap so we got to get there before everybody else to buy it how you doing good how about yourself oh i can't complain too much randy miller western Tampa. good to meet you do you nice mind if you. we film we make youtube videos oh do you yeah <laughs> unfortunately sometimes well if it don't break what can you tell me about one of my favorite parts bro weston he might like for y'all to understand bro when when someone asks me like what i do and they have no idea and i say that and especially if it's someone that's older right and i'm like oh i'm, I'm a youtuber i play video games something like that i wish i could capture that moment and like have it on film for all the people that i've said that to just because of the reactions that i get it's like oh well that's incredible. What is that? How do you do that? And it's like, they, they're they so curious about it. You know what I mean? But it's like, how, like, Weston is a YouTuber, especially as someone that, like, does, uh, like, IRL stuff, right? He's always filming. Like, for me, I'm right here, right? For him, it's like, he probably has a camera around all the time and stuff like that. So he probably has to talk about it way more. But I'm, <laughs> dude, that moment of, oh, I play video games for Loon. I'll never forget the one interaction I had when I said that. That I'll never forget. This is years ago now. I talked about this a while ago. I was on the plane and I said that I play video games for a living. I, and I'm talking, this is probably right when I went full time. So you're, you're talking almost, you know, nine, 10 years ago now. And uh, the lady goes, oh, well, you'll have, you'll have to grow up someday. I'll, I, that is one ingrained in my mind, bro. I'll never oh, forget that Actually, moment. I had it since An older lady, oh, you know, she just torched me, bro. I don't know. Kansas. Oh, gosh, dang. How long has it been? Imagine she's there? a sub now. We moved in in here about over 20 years now. God dang, it sat there a while then, yeah. hey. Did it run pretty good when you parked it? Look at that thing, bro. Transmission was sleeping, though. I, I love old chargers. I really do. Okay, there we go. I think my oh, dad's dream bond. car was either a charger or a uh, stingray? Stingray, right? right? Mm -hmm. Main reason I'm selling everything. Six it's like a ago, 60 the old ticker ain't working stingray? Well. Something oh, I'm like sorry that. to hear that. Yeah, it's uh either get a new know. one or some of y'all might know right out the time y'all are car people all right i'm trying to figure it out i just put it on just to see if there'd be anybody interested holy my phone's been blown up it's amazing when i was a kid i used to watch every single episode of dukes of hazard, dukes of hazard yeah. and then and the dvd pack they would just sit there and it had this thing where the charger would just drive around this cul-de-sac like around and around and i remember i i would just leave it running all night and i'd wake up randomly and i'd look at that car and I always really badly wanted one, and I got a 68, but I've always really wanted a 69. How bad was the trans slipping when you parked it? She had moved, but you could tell she had problems. Okay, but it moved a little bit? Yep. Well, like I said, she's rough, but she's all there. Yeah, it's all right. You know, the thing is, is it's, you know, the rougher the girl, the more I like her. You know? <laughs> you gotta you be careful. <laughs> she slaps you too hard. Well, <laughs> I think the likelihood of getting her started is the motor might start. The motor might start. It might not move once it starts. The problem is, is the guy said the transmission slips in this bad boy and it's been sitting since 1996 and it's got no tires and no brakes and if all of that works we still need to stop so yeah. so i broke out 19,000 cash you wouldn't take it 19,000 i would hate to do this right, by the way that. i'll take it take hands on it there we go. i would hate to do the i just bought a car with back no and forth and it hasn't ran since 1996 <laughs> but i feel good about it I seen five. I feel like that's really. I feel like that's really good for for a, like even just the body of a '69 Charger. No, I mean, bro, that's got. I'm just gonna look it up. 
been a couple months since we bought this car, I'll be honest. We kind of got sidetracked. But here's the deal. It has not ran in 30 or 40 years. It hasn't ran. And when it... 1969 Charger. I mean, this is saying... Obviously, this is probably one that's a little more pristine. This is saying 50. That seems low to me. I'm assuming it's got to be like 100K. No? Maybe not. I might be tripping. Even still, even still, I mean, Part 19 the five for the was kind of going bad. So for the whole the hope body. for Randy is not real high. On top of that, something else we figured out since we bought this thing. You notice how this side of the car was really, really low. We thought mm -hmm. that oh, maybe just like the torsion bars broke or something like that. It's not something that simple. It's the fact is, this car has rotted itself out enough that there's nothing left for the torsion bar to grab onto to hold this corner of the car up. So oh, I'm not sure we can actually drive this car, but. I still think if we get it started, that's a win. Oh, God, she's as good as I remember. I know we checked all this stuff when we bought this thing, but dude, it's got a factory air cleaner with genuine rat turds. Oh, my God, it's a single barrel. Sheesh, this is going to get at least nine and a half miles a gallon when we ever get it running. <laughs> so here's the thing. The chances of this thing starting are not very high. It's been sitting a long ass time. It could be locked up. We're not sure. You know, if I was going to look at a motor and be like, damn, that thing will fire right up probably wouldn't be what I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing's basically restored. Oh, dude, I gotta be careful. If I keep vacuuming too much, I'm gonna vacuum away the whole fender. Why is there a <laughs> chain around the motor? Where? There's literally a chain holding on the driver's side of the motor. I think it's the motor mount. <laughs> so I feel like we shouldn't clean it anymore because the dirt is what's holding it together. I thought cleaning it was a good no, idea. I no, I ain't scared. I'm scared of how much car is gonna be left once we get done vacuuming. <laughs> You're not listening to me. You're going to vacuum away the car. So all we need to do is we need to put power to the coil and we need to figure out how to crank it. Spark, fuel, air. I will be Rotation. floored if by the end of this video, this car starts just because of how like beat up it looks, bro. So yeah, and then we'll start the car. <laughs> Here's the deal. We turn this on and it doesn't burst into flames. That's already a success. That was anticlimactic. Yep. <laughs> you might have an arc some shit with your pliers. Not sure this will do anything. That seems dangerous. Oh my god! Dude, she's fine. I bro. drooled. I was so excited. <laughs> Dude, you know what's crazy, bro? Like, I here's how I know I could never do what these guys do. Like, I jump a car, right? And I'm sitting there and I'm overthinking the clamps you know i'm like okay wait which one goes on first which one goes on second which one do you take off first this guy weston just goes in with like a wrench while that is hooked up and just goes bro oh she cranks good she's good to go give her a little spark and a little bit of fuel she'll be firing right off dude i'm surprised it's not locked up i figured it definitely would be we got it sucking and squeezing we just need it banging and blowing now that's right we're halfway to where we need to be. Oh, there we go. Now we just wedge it in there. That's on. And give her some startage. All right, ready? Yep. 30 years. Let's go. Seems dangerous. You got defective pliers. That's what's wrong with it. It's definitely not the 40 year old starter. Bro, I said pliers. that was a wrench, man. I can already see it in the comments, bro. Tim, those are pliers. Whatever, guys, I'm not perfect. You're messed up. Can you see this? I'm not perfect, man. Yeah, you hand me a long board. I'll hit it with a board. All right, guys, the secret to this is don't worry, just bang on the starter a little bit. I don't know. I was two handed and it didn't work. It don't make no sense. I don't know why these 40 year old connection, connections are fucked up. I think that might be why it didn't start. I, I like how it fades from black to green. The Statue of Liberty's still green and that means freedom, so that means this should work too. So, guys, here's a secret, right? If you want the maximum connection that you get, you strip it back enough. By stripping it, I mean you just rub the wire until the insulation falls off because it's so old. And then you take your vice grips and then you squeeze on both sides. Look at that. That's pretty good stuff. I feel There's so just no way that. that's safe, right? No way. The fire department, what would we need them for? We are perfectly capable of starting our own fires. It's trying. That's impossible. It didn't start. Oh, hold on. I got to turn the dump back on. How many vice grips do we have on this car now? <laughs> Three vice grips in 15 minutes. That's a pretty good new record. Well, hey, good news is we found a problem. It has no electricity in it. Oh, it's completely ripped right there. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> there we go. 
grab the one off Tater. See, most people, whenever they do this, right, they rescue cars, it's been sent for a long time. They're like, all right, guys, first thing we're going to do in today's video, we're going to drain the oil, change the oil, change the spark plugs, change the yeah, cap. They're just trying the to start it. We're like, well, let's hook up, put a battery in and spray starting foot at it and see what happens, you know? Budget's been pretty low. When are we, uh, when are we getting paid? What? You ungrateful hey. motherfuckers. I paid you two months ago. <laughs> family. Do you not call your 15 cats family, Logan? <laughs> Ready? Well, it's getting ready to rain, and we gave this a valiant effort today, so I think we'll come back tomorrow, we'll clean the points, we'll try this again. Take two! Try to start the 1969 Dodge Charger. I love I their dedication, bro. On Amazon on for that. Dude, I feel it. I feel like she's gonna run. I don't know if she's gonna run today, but I feel like eventually, if we work on it long enough, it will run. Okay. And if we did this right... What's a lot cleaner? Am I tripping? Hold on. <clears throat> Got spark? Yeah. Lots of it. Oh my God, we're in business, baby! <laughs> Woo! Ideally, I would like to get it running long enough it overheats. <laughs> that would make me feel good. All right, everybody cross your fingers. Come on, baby, please run. Oh, oh damn! Oh, sheesh! This thing wants to live. High five. There we go. Fist bump. Yeah, good it's stuff. It really is. Here, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run the Red throttle science, here, bro. Too. Uh, everybody Truly. close your eyes and noses when this thing fires up. Come on. Oh my god! I mean, it's kind of going. Minutes. No, dude, excuse me, 10 seconds. <laughs> it might as well be 10 minutes. <laughs> Truly, I can't believe that they just managed to get that thing turned on. Like, truly. Like that whole motor mouse broken. Look how much it stuff over whenever it, like, ramps up. Oh, come on, what is it doing? That is awesome. Dude, it actually runs, like, for, for sitting for 40 years, that's pretty impressive. I would feel like this would be a success if this thing would drive itself off the trailer. Okay, so we'll put plugs, wires, cap, and then we'll go see if we can like straighten up the wheels and pull this trailer up and see if it'll back itself off the trailer. That's actually, I mean, it's guys. Like, I don't know if we want to invest as much money in this. Girl. Like Weston said, like the fact that that car, after forty years of just sitting, they could get it to turn on at, at the bare minimum is truly mind blowing and actually like incredible to think that like Dodge made something that could sit for that long, that that motor could still like turn on after 40 sure or years. Not, but we basically rebuilt the entire motor. By rebuilt it, I mean we put spark plugs in it. We still have the same old 300 year old carburetor and dirty gas, but that's probably not gonna stop us. It'll probably run perfectly. Oh God. And look oh, at that. That's awful. Okay. Yeah. Somebody start me up. <laughs> Stop my respiratory. Hurry up, I need fresh air. <laughs> yep, I'm ready to take her for a spin. Uh, <laughs> man, this thing's nice in here. Go <laughs> ahead, start it up. <laughs> Bro, there's no way. That thing is actually, the fact that that thing is actually moving, bro. It's incredible, man. Dude, it felt smooth on the drive. I didn't notice any vibrations or nothing. It felt good. As far as a good test drive, like a good first test drive, that's it. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Y'all are awesome, Appreciate Weston. It. You seen her on our first road trip. That, that was incredible, bro. Truly, that was, God. To see like a car that old still be able to kind of like go is, is awesome, man.